Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Game Dev Tutorials. Um, today we have a relatively simple one. Um, in the future I'd love to boil them down this far and make them this, this short and sweet. Um, we'll see if I'm able to, to do that regularly or not, but we're going to try. Alright, so today the only goal is to get text on the screen. Um, so we're going to create a quick UI, UI class that's going to be empty other than a font. We're going to add the font to the project. Uh, I'm going to provide you guys with the fonts and the provided materials. Um, they get built using the uh, mono game, a mono build project, and uh, it, you can do a quick search to find the file to build. Um, in fact, you know what? I'll provide one. Um, all right. And then so we have, we're going to add a kill counter for killing the guys, and then we're going to center that text on the bottom of the screen. So that's the entire thing. All right, let's get this started. Uh, first things first, I am going to add some fonts. Um, I'm going to provide these. They are built in Mono Games build uh, projects, and they are like an XML file. I'll try to remember to provide an example of that as well. Um, basically, you just change the font name, and you change the size of the font, and you're done. Then you build it. Super simple. Um, but yeah. All right, down in world, we are going to add a new item, the UI class. All right, let's add that puppy. Let's get this squared away real fast. Do all the basic stuff. Grab the includes. Make our constructor. We need to uh, make our update. We need to make our draw. I rarely, if ever, uh, override my um, my UI class, so that's why I didn't put the virtuals in. And we're gonna just pass in the whole world so that we have everything to deal with. It's just a pointer to it. It's not a big deal. It doesn't take up a bunch of uh, processing power to do this. Is it sloppy? Yeah, it's a bit sloppy. Um, normally, I would create a packet and I'd pass in exactly what I needed, but in this case, it's it's gonna be a lot faster to do it this way, and uh, you guys can go through optimizing that stuff later. All right, so we're gonna have a sprite font, sprite font, font. Um, sprite font is a part of mono game and I believe it's in media if I remember it could be in content but uh, anyway um, and then we're gonna set it up so font equals globals dot content dot load dot sprite font instead of texture 2d so make sure you have that spot right um, and then we're gonna put in fonts Arial 16 Okay, um, so that's our font. We have that set up. We need to jump into world. Um, let me increase the size here. Um, and then we're gonna say public UI UI. At the end here, we're gonna say UI equals new UI. So we've initialized it. At the bottom of update, and that's important because we want to have everything done in the frame before we deal with the UI. Let's say UI dot update and pass in this. And then again at the bottom of draw, because we want to draw over everything because it's the UI. Equal, uh, dot draw this. Okay, so we've set that up. Now we need a counter to count the number of things we've killed. So public int num killed equals oh, we'll, we'll set it down here I, I don't like to set my variables up top um, for the most part unless they're a list all right so num killed zero and then right where we remove the dead mobs we will say num killed plus plus okay so is this the very best place to put that no but it's the best place we have set up now and for our purposes at this moment it will work if they had a death animation it probably wouldn't run and it wouldn't count them up until the death animation was over um so 
is that perfect? No. Is it good enough for now? Yes. You can move this around to a better place uh, in your own code as you develop your own stuff. Um, and then let's jump into UI. We're not going to do anything in update this time. All we're going to do is uh, create a temp string. So string tempster equals, and then we'll say what? We'll say num killed equals space and then we'll uh, we'll concatenate on world dot num killed all right that'll work now we're gonna measure the string because we do want to center it so we have to measure it so vector 2 font uh, temp no. stir dims that's what I usually call it equals um, font dot measure string and then we're gonna put temp string in here all right, so that will give us the dimensions of the string. Um, and that's just a part of font. That's a part of sprite font. There's nothing special to do there. Just use it. Um, and then we're going to say globals.spritebatch.drawString. Um, and then we're going to pass in the font, the string. Uh, this is the position. That's the part we'll go over in just a second. And then color. I'm going to use black for now. That will stand out well on our blue background so okay so here we want to center this on the bottom so we need a new vector to um, globals dot screen width over two is initially the center and then but we need to uh, subtract half of this the size of the font string um, so stir dims dot x over two because fonts draw off to the right from the left um, your string would end up with the center of it on the left side of the string instead of moving so instead we're going to move it over half the width of the string in order to get it to be centered um, and then here we're going to say uh, since it's the bottom we're going to go globals dot screen height then we're going to subtract maybe like 40 I don't know you can you can adjust that all you want to get that perfect so this should run um, we should be good to go now. Um, let's see. There it is down here. It's all working. Every time I kill one, it goes up by one. And yeah, cool. So that's all I have for this tutorial. I just really wanted to go through how to get text on your screen so you guys can work on UIs. Um, I know that there is a mono game, uh, game jam coming up. I am considering being part of it, but I'm also super busy with some other things and uh, with work. So we'll see if I can set aside some time for that. Uh, I think it starts Thursday, the 26th of July. Um, anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe, push that like button, let YouTube know that, you, that uh, the video doesn't suck. Um, past that, guys, I will see you next time. Uh, have a good one, and hopefully you guys are enjoying... Uh, programming some games. Alright, talk to you guys later.